Hey guys, good morning. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab, and welcome back to another post bag. So, I've received a couple of items that I'm going to uh, once again open since uh, it's been a long time since I uh, last uh, did a post bag. It's been a long time since the last post bag. So, let's get started. Let's get my knife and let's start with the biggest one. Now, this is a local package from Open Circuit, and I ordered it because of a project that I'm doing. Let's see, I think I can just tear this open. Yeah, kind of. And it contains, wow, I mean, this bag box thing for these two things. Yeah. And it contains a HLK PM03 PCB footing. Now this is a AC to a DC converter, a AC to 3.3 volts DC converter in a little box like this uh, from Highlink. It's the Highlink HLK PM03 and it's capable of delivering 3 watts. Uh, yeah, and as I said, it converts AC into DC. Uh, and I'm going to use it for a upcoming project that I'll. Uh, oh, I have recently uploaded a video about it. So, yeah. It's 3.3 uh, volts DC at 1 amps. So. If we calculate it, it should theoretically be able to deliver 3.3 watts, not 3 watts. So I'm, I'm not sure if there's any efficiency curves of this one. Um, but yeah, it feels kind of heavy too. So yeah, I'll be using this in my uh, AC dimmer project that I've recently published a video on. Um, in part 2 of it. So, stay tuned uh, for part 2. Now, let's open the next package. It doesn't really say anything. Yeah, if indeliverable. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what's inside it. Oh, lots of smaller things. Oh, these are the uh, quick boost converters. Did I order that many? I don't think I did. Well, it's always nice if they give some uh, for free, but... Let's check. Oh yeah, I ordered four. So yeah, there are five. So that's... Uh, uh, these are the tiny little bug boost converters. The... MP... 1584EN and the MP23007DN uh, and I'm planning on making a video regarding these things uh, because they're quite interesting and we're going to take a look at how they actually operate this is really really small the inductor is the biggest component on this PCB Yeah, this is really small, really small. There isn't even a LED, I think, or is this? No, there isn't even a LED on there. Well, there isn't a LED on this one either, I believe. No. Oh, really useful. Well, as I said, I'm going to make a video about these very soon, because one blew up and uh, I need to know why. Um, i going to do an in-depth explanation of these things because they're quite interesting. So, uh, yeah, really useful. Let's put them back in their bags. And go for the next few packages. Now there's three more. This one. This one was almost sent back to the supplier. Not sure why, maybe because of the uh, 
coronavirus that everything is uh, acting weird in the last uh, few. Oh yeah, yeah. These are ESP01 uh, S's. It's the new. I think it's the new one. Uh, there used to be only an O1, but the O1s have more memory. I believe it was more flash memory. Come on, how did they get this in? Yeah. Well. Ah, there you go. So this is basically just a bare ESP8266 on a PCB. Okay, will you able to focus? No, you won't. There you go. Uh, with all the re uh, required components to be able to power it up. Let's take one from the yeah ESP uh, flash. There are one LED. Yeah, there's one LED on there, and the antenna, of course, and the, uh, the header. Now, I've also ordered uh, the, the programmer, but I don't think it has arrived yet. So I'll be, uh, I'm, I'm looking into buying a uh, arbitrary waveform generator, and there's one AW, AWG where you can connect one of these, and that allows my Siglent. Uh, to connect to that AWG uh, as if it was a regular signal uh, signal generator, so you can do all kinds of nice things, uh, boat plot, and that's really interesting. So it's the I think it's called the FY uh, sixty nine hundred. Uh, so let me know if you've got any um, experiences with that one. And if you recommend it, so yeah, ESP One S. Maybe I'm going to uh, replace all my ESP uh, Note MCU uh, things because sometimes they only run one sensor, and this is yeah much smaller and much cheaper than a Note MCU. Because lately I've been feeling like it's a little bit of a waste of my uh, Note MCUs. To only connect a DHT22 to them, and this is a much better solution. So yeah, and they work basically exactly the same. They only have fewer uh, GPIO pins, but there are some tricks you can uh, can do to get a little bit uh, to get uh, some extra GPIO. So Ooh. really nice. So I like these. I think I'm going to buy more of these because they're they're pretty uh, pretty small as well. I'm not going to put them in this bag again. So this one feels kind of heavy. Oh, wow. I don't know where to open without damaging it. Because it also feels kind of big. Is it over here? Yeah, I need to... Here as well. If Oh wow. How do they put it inside the envelope? I think they've got some machine for that. Oh yeah. This is the uh, Peltier. Or Peltier. No, Peltier. It's those uh, things where you put a voltage uh, on them and one side gets really hot and one side gets really cool. So, I'm not sure what's the hot side or what's the cold side, but I think we'll figure it out. Now, I think these are 12 volt uh, Peltiers. Let me check it. Just for safety, so 
Gotta that blow the, don't blow the thing up. If you're on. Yeah, 12 volt. 12 volts. Um, let's power it up. 12 volts. With my lap bench power supply. Is that the current limit? Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. This side is getting really cold. This side is getting warm. Now I won't be able to power it on for that long because they need active cooling or a big heatsink on this side. Oh wow, this is really cool. Let's uh, grab my multimeter with the uh, thermal probe. So, this side over here. Put it onto temperature. Degrees C. Now, please keep in mind that it's current limited to around 4 amps. So, if I turn it on, there you go. Yeah, but this side is getting very hot. So, this side needs to be cooled a lot more. Oh wait, I've got an idea. This is well, a really good idea, I'm not sure, but it's an idea. If I put some water in here and I put the hot side in there, like this, yeah. Oh yeah, it gets really cool. Oh wow, and the other side, oh, 33 degrees, oh let's turn it on. So this is really cool. Yeah, this was, oh, this was quite effective. But it didn't heat up that much. But the other side cooled down really quick. So yeah, I was always uh, fascinated about these things. So I thought it was finally time to buy one myself. Uh, that's also for an upcoming project that I haven't told much about to you guys. But there are a few items in this post bag that betray what a project it is so I suggest that uh, we open one of those let's start with this expansion board module nice plastic wrap Oh yeah, oh, this is for another project. This is for the windmill. These are BMSs, battery uh, management systems. And these control the uh, electricity going in and out of the battery. And also they prevent overcharge, uh, over discharge. Uh, they limit the current uh, and so on. And they finally arrived, I ordered a few of these and they did not arrive but now they finally did so really nice they, these are the uh, 18650 uh, charge control BMS thingies so I can continue with the windmill project well I've uh, ordered a PCB and all the components uh, but I found out that I was using the totally wrong webbench power design schematic thing. So I need to reorder a PCB uh, with all the components. Uh, so that's a lot of figuring out uh, here and there. So uh, the last 
sold that. It's an uh, air humidifier, and that's exactly what my next project is uh, going to be about. Well, of course, after I finish the AC dimmer. So let's get this out, because I'm very excited about this. Because these are two. Oh, wow. They're smaller than I thought they, I would, they would be. Let's cut the tape. Oh wow, really cool. So they're yeah, air humidifiers. They work uh, with ultrasonic sound. They vibrate this disc. And then because of the high frequency vibration, uh, the water just evaporates basically. It creates a mist of, um, of water. So, yeah, I've ordered two. Uh, I'm hoping there are some um, loose individual discs coming uh, my way as well. And I'm hoping that I could attach those to these two PCBs so that they're able to run more than one disc at the same time. But uh, yeah, I'd say uh, let's give them a try. So I'm wondering, do you just float them on the water? Because I can imagine that the device will start to rust because of the contacts that are at the bottom. Now, I'm hoping that I'll be able to PWM this thing and uh, control the uh, fog generation in that way uh, with, oh, with a MOSFET because I don't want this thing to be on all the time and so yeah and there's a button on there Oh, you can't see it, sorry. There's a button on there. But I'm not sure what the button does. So, let's turn it on. There we go. Oh. It's an on and off switch. On and off button. turns off automatically well that's the there something is happening but holding it upside down. But what about the contacts? Yeah, this side needs to be kept dry. And the other side can be submerged. Uh -huh, and then in that way the contact... Is it floating? Nope. That's a shame. Look, it's working. Stay on. And this is really cool. 
Why does it turn off? I want you to stay on. I'm trying to smell the... It's creating huge fox. Look. Pretty awesome. So, I'm planning to um, actually do a DIY air humidifier that uses uh, these things in order to uh, humidify the air. Because uh, sometimes my uh, room gets very dry and that's not, uh, that's not good for you. And it, uh, it also makes your airways uh, feel a little rough sometimes. Ooh, uh, I just opened the Home Assistant app. <laughs> and it shows that my humidity is 94%. <laughs> Look. 94%. So... Um, yeah, you see? Oh, I think there's another problem here. That's that's not... Uh, not reset it. Oh, you see, I, I, I want to be able to control the humidity in the air. Um, without uh, yeah with ease automatically as well hmm. so let's wait for the thing to come back online since 94% is not really that accurate Dropping, but very fast. Well, it's uh, an interesting device. Maybe I can PWM the uh, the button. I think that that would be a better better idea, since otherwise the whole control circuitry will get um, confused. This is really working well. This is really cool. Now I can apply lights to this as well. So that the fog will light up. But I'm not going to do that I think. Maybe I'll add some blue lights and some green light or and some red lights. Oh, this is really cool. You can really oh wait, look I've created a um, air filter for soldering, and I can test it because it pulls the air through there. Oh yeah. This will get wet. Because yeah, it's just... Oh, it feels really cold as well. <laughs> You can really feel the water things hitting your hand. Oh, it's it's wet. And it's
it was uh, white-ish. Yeah, this is really cool. But it's a shame that it doesn't float. Is the water that cold? Yeah, it's cold water. Oh wow. So, I uh, assume we also power up the other one. I have them both running at the same time to see if we can get some extra. Water evaporated. Is it getting warm? Where's the other one? Yeah, a little. Is this more? Oh shit, got wet. Oh wow, that's really cool, it's really shooting out of water. Yeah, this will work, this will really work, cool. So, oh, I guess... Uh, and that's it for this post bag. Yeah, oh, by the way, I will be using this Peltier to cool down the water and hopefully uh, control the temperature of my room. Uh, and I hope that the cool uh, humid air uh, will be uh, feeling colder than the warmth that is coming off of this thing. Because you need to cool it, of course. Um, and you need to move the hot air away from this thing. Uh, but of course it's also generating cool things, cool water. So it's, it's making the water uh, chill. So yeah, I guess we'll figure this out uh, really soon. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a, uh, a wonderful day. Uh, if you like these post bags, uh, Please let me know down below. Uh, please forward uh, to your friends if they find this funny or if, if they really don't. And it's also cool, I guess. So uh, stay tuned because there's lots of projects coming up uh, on my channel. And I hope I uh, see you again really soon. Bye. Hey guys, this is Tim. I hope you liked that video. If you want to see more, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, you can also share the video with your friends and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.